So, I have all these left over yarn, and I'm going to just try to do a little organizing, so I'll go ahead and try to kick these up really quick. Hey guys, happy Friday! So I've been doing some cleaning today. I have so much scrap yarn, so many just projects that are half done. And I was kind of just in the mood for trying to get a little bit cleaned up. And I started this scrap blanket a while ago. Just when I finish a project and I have like a little bit of yarn like this left, I would just go ahead and randomly add it to this project. And I still plan to do that. However, I was browsing online and I saw this pattern and I just thought this was so cute. Yeah, the cat did catch my attention first, but I love this. So I thought this would be a really good project because I feel like each of the, like each of the squares is going to use more yarn than this. So I feel like when I have like this amount, I'll add it to this scrap yarn. But if I have a little bit more that I can make like a granny square out of, I'm going to go ahead and make one of these solid granny squares. I just love the way these look. I think they're so, so cute. So I have this pink. I haven't made one of these granny squares like this in a while. But I had this left over from making my wall hanging yesterday. I used it just to make one of the flowers. So I thought I'm going to see if this is enough to make one of the squares. I might go ahead and weigh it just to see, kind of get a better idea of how much is here and crochet one of these squares and if I have any of it left I'm going to just go ahead and add it to the border along with this and I spent a little bit of time just kind of caking up some of my leftover yarn to make them look a little bit neater and I don't know if I'm going to do it today but I was kind of thinking about just going through some of my totes of like scraps like this and kind of organizing them a little bit by color I don't know that's a lot for today but we'll see so I just found a quick pattern online for making one of these solid granny squares. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I don't like using magic loops, magic rings to start crochet projects like this. I'm just always afraid they're going to come loose, but we'll see. Wow, well, this sucks. <laughs> Marcus, you just knocked over my tripod. Thanks, Marcus. That's, that's nice. You can keep going. Pass on by. All right, so I lost my game of yarn chicken. I only need a couple more stitches. I was so sure this would be enough to get, what is this, one, two, three, four rounds. We only need a few more stitches. So what I think I might try to do, because it's a scrap blanket, I do have this pink. All right, so I'm going to just try to go ahead and do... The rest of this using this color it's pretty similar it's a little bit thinner but it should work I think all right and it looks close enough it's a scrap yarn blanket anyway so this is fine I'm gonna try to do that invisible join where you use the sewing needle to finish it now. All right, so this is my first one done. I was not expecting to run out of yarn that quick, but it's a, I can see the difference, but it's a scrap blanket, so I'm okay with that. So this is my first one done. I know this is definitely not going to be enough, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one 
And now I'm going to add it to this blanket. Oh, cats are being crazy. <laughs> uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and just stitch in all of my ends because I know I'm not going to want to weave these in later. All right, got this one done. So I got around, I started right here with the yellow, made it around and did like a corner with my yellow. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stitch, I'm going to go ahead and weave in these ends, put this away. And I am in the mood for getting started on a new crochet project. Hey guys, so I made this little chart, I think probably around vlogist when I was trying to be a little bit more consistent in posting. And I, I love to chart stuff. And I think that's probably just part of being a SPED teacher. I, I like everything charted. <laughs> so I wanted to make something just to kind of motivate myself to always, you know, to post more consistently. So I thought, you know, if I made myself a little chart, I could hang it on my wall and each time I fill in one of these, it'll just be really motivating, but it's still blank. <laughs> and I just kind of just left it laying around. And of course the cats found it and the slide of it is all chewed up. <laughs> and yeah, so this is actually on iron on fabric. So I don't know, I just put it on here because I didn't know what I would do with it, but if I would just like, you know, hang it on the wall, did I want to like make something into it? So yeah, just ended up on some iron on fabric and I just pulled out a marker, just a regular alcohol marker. I was kind of thinking about using fabric markers too, but yeah, this was on hand. <laughs> I might make another one later on, but I just wanted to go ahead and start filling this out because I am getting super, super close to 1,000 subscribers. I actually, right now I just checked, I have 979 subscribers. I'm just, that just blows my mind. So I wanted to go ahead and just fill in my subscribers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, color in each of these and I need to just leave three more for my last, what is it? Uh, 21 subscribers to get you a thousand. Right, so I put in my 979 subscribers. I didn't realize that this marker would kind of bleed a little bit, so didn't really stay in the lines, but hey, happy with it. All right, so the next goal that I need to be working on are the 4,000 watch hours. And currently I have 869 watch hours. So that means I need to fill in 43 of these little circles. I just love seeing things kind of charted out. I know I can just go on the YouTube app and see it, but I just, I like the hard copy of stuff. <laughs> and I just think it's really motivating. Have a long way to go for the watch hours, but you know, I'm really committed now. And I think I really just want to spend a lot more time just making more content. And I know that Vlogmas is going on right now and I have been watching so much Vlogmas. Like, oh, I'm loving it. I didn't participate in Vlogmas. Honestly, I was just lazy. <laughs> I knew that my break was coming up and I just kind of wanted, I just wanted to be lazy. <laughs> so, but I am in just, I'm really enjoying watching it so much that it's making me want to just try more vloggy things, I guess. You know, I do love 
like filming projects from start to finish, but that takes a lot of time and I don't really get to make as many videos because it takes me a long time to finish a project. So I thought I'm gonna try something a little bit different gonna just try to do more vloggy things where I kind of just work on projects here and there and just show you my progress each day. My goal eventually, not right now, <laughs> but eventually after the new year to kind of just try doing it daily and see how it goes. Like a quick little 10-15 minute vlog of what I've worked on that day. So yeah, I've gone ahead and finished this up. I'm really, really happy to see it. So trying to decide what I'm gonna do next. I think I'm gonna get started on another project and it is super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it is. All right, so a few days ago, I was kind of just browsing through Amigurumi projects and I saw these cats. I just thought they were so, so cute. Like I love how they look with all these different colors. Such a pretty yarn that's used here. And I don't have that type of yarn, but I did buy a whole bunch of these in different colors. And these are these big twist ones. And I thought I would go ahead and try using them for a cat. And this is the color that I was using for my cardigan, which I'm kind of thinking about frogging because I'm not loving it. <laughs> um, and this one's kind of really similar to what's used in the picture here. So I was kind of thinking that this, this might make a cute cat. Other one I was kind of considering would be this one, which is also cute, <laughs> or this one. I don't know, I just think these cats are so cute and I just love all the different pictures. Uh, let's see. Does it have other colors? Oh, yeah. yeah, so the purple one is so cute. Like, I love how that one looks with the purple. This yarn is just so pretty to me. Like, I wish I had some of that. It's just so pretty. But yeah, so. Hmm. Looking at these, I feel like I'm most drawn to this one, and I know I love this color because that's the one I picked out to make my cardigan. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make a little cat out of this. I think it would also be cute to make, make a little set of them because I think they look so cute together. And then for the white, I'm actually going to pair it with this cream color. Oh, I just think this looks so cute. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, and I'll check in with you guys once I have a little bit of it done. Hey guys, happy Monday! I know it has been a long time. I have totally missed you guys. I want to just come back and let you guys know what I've been up to. So right after, well on Christmas Day actually, I flew up to Canada to hang out with my best friend for about a week and a half and had an amazing time. Loved it so much. I didn't really film a lot though. I didn't really film hardly anything. The first day we were there, we did go to, well, the second day after I flew in on, we did go to the Western Development Museum and I did find a few little, I guess, displays that had to do with like crafting and knitting and that kind of stuff. So I did take a few clips of that, which I just put in. But for the rest of the trip, I didn't really take any pictures or film anything. I just kind of wanted to be more present, I guess. I didn't want to be on my phone. I wanted to just enjoy my time there and completely unplug but yeah so most of the time did some shopping just exploring the different stores around and a lot of eating <laughs> i yeah a lot of eating that was really most of <laughs> what we did was just try new foods and trying lots of canadian snacks that i don't have access to here and i just had a wonderful time and got to enjoy that however on the way home on the drive home from the airport, my throat started to feel a little strange and I got sick. And I have not been sick since like 2018. Like not a cold, 
nothing since 2018. And I feel like all those years of not being sick just piled up and just made this time worse. <laughs> so the last few days, I felt pretty miserable, which I, yeah, I just probably, I probably wasn't that sick. It's just, I'm not used to being sick. So it just felt like 50 times worse, but I took a ton of medicine. Didn't really seem like it was helping, but I am finally starting to feel a little bit better. And I think one of the main things was just like the climate change, the cold air just kind of triggered asthma in me. So I'm sick with asthma and nah, just feeling miserable. But I woke up this morning feeling a little better, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to show you guys a few of the things that I picked up over my little vacay. I didn't really buy a lot of like souvenirs or anything. I did buy some clothing, which was nice because I never buy clothing for myself, so it was kind of nice to go pick up a few things and actually forgot what size I am instead of just guessing, which was nice. But my friend did buy me a few things. Um, one of them was this, which is a little Canadian beaver, and I just thought, this is so cute because you guys know stuffed animals, plushies, I love them. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, I want this. <laughs> and then I saw this, which is the little retro bus, which I was like, it's yellow. It's a retro bus. I, I, I got to take this home too. So these are my two main souvenirs that I picked up and also got this. It's just a pencil case, but while I was there, I went to Michael's and y'all, Michael's in Canada, amazing. I wish my Michael's was like that. If I had been at home, I would have probably bought at least an entire cart of yarn because it was so much clearance for like a dollar, two dollars and three dollars. Like so much yarn, like so much yarn. <laughs> like, let me grab one. I only bought like Oh no, I just took off the label. I think I paid $2 for this. I bought, I think, four different yarns. I bought this one, I bought a solid green one, I bought a blue, black, and gray one, and then a really huge Lion Brand one pound in like a pumpkin color. And I bought a set of crochet hooks. And then I bought, this I actually got from Staples too, this little carrier, but it was so cheap. And even better, my teacher discount transfers to Canada. So yeah, I got a bunch of little things at Canada <clears throat> for very cheap. You know, I was planning to do some crochet while I was there. I started working on a little kitten blanket for my friend's cat, but I didn't get very far on it. <laughs> so I ended up leaving that Karen, or not the Karen, the Lion Brand. Are they Lion Brand? I don't remember but they're not the Karen one pound. They're the other one pounders. And yeah, I ended up, it's like an orange color. His cat is like an orange color too. So I was like, I'm going to make the cat a blanket while I'm here, but didn't finish it. And it didn't fit in my suitcase. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just leave that there. So the next time I visit, I'll just work on it a little bit more. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, yeah, so I just had so much fun at Michael's. <laughs> it was just like, I wish I could have brought so much yarn home. I was tempted to like, buy a bunch and try to ship it to myself but i'm like it's not going to be as cheap so I'll, I'll just wait <laughs> i'll check my michaels when i get home and i did go to my michaels and my joann's and i'll show you guys what i picked up from there but while in canada i bought some snacks i bought this which is an ice wine tea which is so good <laughs> i got some of this which is saskatoon berry jam and i had two of these I bought one that was, oh, this is a topping. So I bought one that was actually like a jam and we tried that on some waffles and so good. And then this one I brought home a fresh one and this is a berry topping. So I'm probably gonna make some waffles again, try this this weekend cause I can't wait to try this. It was so delish. <clears throat> but yeah, so most of the trip was just me eating. <laughs> so I just had so much fun. So let's see, when I got home, I was sick, <laughs> so I didn't do much, but I did, once I started feeling a little bit better, did head over to Michael's and Joann's because I had coupons and those $10 Michael's rewards are about to expire, so I'm like, I have to go because I can't let them expire. And ended up picking up a huge diamond painting because it was 60% off and then I had $10 in rewards. So yeah, picked this up. It is like this little mushroom house. That was cute. 
And I had also picked this one up before Christmas and I got this one I think from either like Ross or Marshalls, one of those discount stores and it's two of them in here. So I've got some diamond painting plans going on. <clears throat> then I went to Joann's and I picked up some cross stitch kits. Again, more coupons so had to use it. Got one, uh, all that I all that I am or hope to be I owe to my cat. Yeah, you guys know I love cats so I had to grab these because kitties. <laughs> Got one. Do I look like a morning person with a dog? Growing up, I actually had a basset hound, so this one stood out to me. A little sloth, because another animal I love are sloths. And then this one I actually picked up an, a while ago, and it's, did someone say sushi? I don't know. I thought these were cheap, especially with coupons, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna get this some cross, some cross stitch. And the last thing I picked up, which I am most excited about, are these. These are those granny square all in one. I went to my Joann's and they had so many colors. I, I, I got a lot of them. Got these. And these. <laughs> I know it's a lot. The colors are so pretty. So even if I don't figure out how to do the granny squares with them, I'm like, how pretty are these colors just to make something out of? So yeah, I used some coupons and teacher discount and picked up some of these. I'm going to make another video now that I'm finally feeling better and I yeah so now that I am feeling a little bit better and I can talk a little bit more my voice still is bothering me and everything but I'm going to go ahead and try one of these because I'm really excited to see how they work up because I think each of these I can make 14 granny squares. Don't know what I'm going to make with them yet I'm just going to start making a ton of granny squares. Maybe block them? I don't know and then see what I'm going to make with them after once I have a bunch. My idea right now to make just a really colorful blanket out of them I think would be super cute and like connect them using black thread I think would be really really pretty but I think this is my favorite one. I will show you guys the rest of them in my next video just because this one's getting a little long. But yeah so I wanted to just thank you guys so much and another exciting thing so that one those few clips that I recorded before I left on vacay one of them I was doing my little chart to show you guys how far I've gotten to get how far I've gotten with like YouTube and how close I am to a thousand subscribers and we made it past a thousand subscribers so thank you guys so much I appreciate it so so much I think the last time we checked I was about at 100 or 1020 I do need to check again and now that I'm feeling better I really hope to just make a lot more content and start posting more I want to do more kind of vloggy things instead of like me trying to work through an entire project in one video just kind of update you guys every day on whatever I'm working on so we're gonna see how that goes so my lunch is just about over so I'm gonna head back I'm gonna transfer this video to my computer and get this uploaded because I want to spend my afternoon after I get off work working on this so again thank you guys so much I appreciate you guys so much thank you guys for liking subscribing and viewing and all that I appreciate it so so much so thank you guys and I'll see you guys a little bit later bye guys